Ladies and gentlemen, there is some trickery afoot, and we're going to have to delve into this one a little bit. It might be nothing. Probably something. Another week, another reset of the PTR, and new information added, which may be of interest to some of you guys. So, you may have seen during our interview with Ian, we were talking about legendaries and recrafting, because some people are going to swap legendaries due to changes Blizzard has made to their class. It's pushed some legendaries up, some down. There are also new legendaries coming in. Uh, yet, there's also, alongside this, the new Domination Armor Sets. Okay, now the Domination Armor Sets are interesting because they contain special Domination Gem Slots. And these gems are on the PTR right now. I'm going to stick them in front of your face. And these are very powerful. And they also come with procs. And we're also matching colors. There are purple, red, and blue ones. If you have three of the same color, that provides you an extra proc, which will only work in Torghast and the Maw and the new raid. Now, so far, the individual gems effects work everywhere. This includes PvP, and they're really strong. So, THD was with us today, and he was reporting that just having... The DPS gem slots, which are of different colors, still is a 9% bonus upgrade to his damage, which is not insignificant by any means. Now, if you do do that, and you just have three different colored gem slots because you're not interested in raiding or anything like that, then you will not get the three set bonus that you get from having the same colors. What's happened this week is they've added more domination armor. What does this mean then? Well... <laughs> It means that all classes are sharing head, shoulders, and chest for their Domination armor sets. Some of you are already panicking because of your legendaries. We'll get to that in a second. But they've also added another two slots that you can equip in different ones depending on your armor type. So I have some notes here. Like, uh, if you're a clothy, you will now also have wrist and waist, which will have Domination armor slots in them. Uh, plate what users will get hands and wrists. Leather will get hands and feet, and so on. Giving you a total of five Domination armor pieces which have five domination slots so what you can read from this is that you can have the three set bonus from having three of the same color and then you can add another two of different colors which will provide you these extra bonuses that you wouldn't ordinarily get if you were just wearing three because the dps specific ones there's one in each color so by having the three colored ones you also get the bonus and then you can put the extra dps ones in as well where do these Domination Armor pieces come from? They come from the raid. So far, there is no source of Domination Armor in PvP. There is two pieces that come from doing Corthia and from gaining reputation there. You can get another two pieces from there. But in total, your character, regardless of armor set, can wear up to five Domination Armor pieces. Now, Blizzard has obviously recognized the clear problem if your legendary fits into one of those slots. They've seen that. So, for example, on my Hunter, if I'm using my uh, Soul Cinders legendary, that fits in my shoulder slot. In 9.1, I'm going to want to have a Domination Armor piece in that slot. So where does my legendary go? Because it only I think the only other place it could go is on the head, where I also want a Domination Armor piece. They have added more places your legendary can go. So now that legendary can also appear on a ring. And they've done this with several other pieces. So you've now got an extra option of having the legendary effect appear on a different item because you're likely to want to have your character wearing five domination armor pieces. What they have not done is put in a way yet, and this is why I'm kind of PSAing this, of saying, well, I just want to change my shoulder legendary that I have right now into the ring one. Because you've brought in new armor, which replaces my legendary armor pieces. You've done that. And you never told us you were going to do that. But that's what you have done. So I don't want the legendary there anymore. Do I have to recraft it? As it stands right now, yes, you do. You have to recraft the same legendary again into a different slot. Now, it may be, and certainly after videos like this come out, it may be they'll put something in so you can transfer the legendary effect to another slot and not have the hassle of having to spend five to six thousand soul ash just to make the same legendary again in a different slot because blizzard has brought in new armor and i think that is exactly what they should do this should be a completely optional thing to just swap it to another piece instead of saying well balls to you you have to recraft the same one because we've brought in new armor this is a problem that blizzard has created it should be one that they solve uh, on top of this, there are definite questions about this. These uh, gems are purchased from Corthia. 
They require two ingredients. One is the colored gem itself. We have no idea where that comes from right now. We can't find it out. The other resource is Stygian Embers, which comes from the weekly Corthia quest and comes from killing raid bosses. So worst case scenario here, guys, you're going to have to recraft your legendary onto a different slot from scratch, spending your soul ash on it. That's going to have to happen. Uh, and or, and there's no other source of this and they still allow the individual gems to work in all content because right now they work in mythic plus they work in the arena uh, the only thing that does not work right now and our testing is the three-piece bonus that does not work but every other bonus which are still very very strong does work literally everywhere else in the game which means if you're an avid arena player, you're probably going to want to get the Shards of Domination armor. Although they are messing with the item levels, the bonuses are really, really strong. Uh, and the same for Mythic Pluses. If you're focusing that, you're probably going to want some raid gear. I don't know how this is going to play out, guys. I wish I had the answers for you. All I know is how it is working right now. I can tell you what changes they've made, such as adding in the extra legendary stuff. Next week, we could see that they've solved all this and they deactivated these gems outside of Torghast, the Maw, and the Raid, which is what we kind of expected to happen. That isn't happening right now. Only the three-piece bonus is not working outside of there. Or they may disable them in PvP. They may disable them in Mythic Plus. Or they might do something like giving you access to these through Mythic Plus, through raiding, through Arena, whatever it might be. So something to be aware of, chaps. It also looks like they're not updated this on live. So if you're looking to recraft your legendary now, I don't think you can do that until 9.1 when those changes come in. They could do with, if they're asking people to do that, to do that now. Uh, but they're probably going to wait to 9.1, which means farming some Torghast before 9.1 launches in readiness for this occasion. All right. Thank you so much for li listening, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you again. Bye-bye.